Hi, my name is Raghavendra. I have more than nine years of experience as a Oracle developer. Today we are going to discuss about types of SQL statements. What are the types of SQL statements are there? There are five types of SQL statements in Oracle database. The first one is data retrieval. It's nothing but a seller statement. The second one is data manipulation language. In short form, those are called as DML statements. The third one is data definition language. Fourth one is transaction control language. Fifth one is data control language. For your easy understanding, I have shown in a tree structure. See those five types of SQL statements in Oracle. The first one is data retrieval statements. It's nothing but a seller statement. Data manipulation language. In the short form, people will call DML. Data definition language. In short form, people will call DDL statements. In transaction control language statement, TCL. Data control language statements, DCL. Let's see which are the statements are used, which purpose, and why they will use, and what are those. So now we are going to discuss about data retrieval statements. Data retrieval statement is nothing but a seller statement. The purpose of seller statement is to retrieve the data from database. The purpose of seller statement is to retrieve the data from database. Select statement specify which columns need to be retrieved from a table. So whenever you want to retrieve the data from the table, you will construct a seller statement. In that seller statement specifies which are the columns need to be retrieved from the table. To read the data, we will use the select statement. Let's see data manipulation language statements. What is the purpose of DML commands? The DML statements are used to modify the data in a table. If you want to modify the data in a table, you need to use DML commands. What are those DML statements? Insert, update, delete, merge. Why we will use insert statement? The purpose of insert statement is to add a new record to the table. Update statement is used to modify the existing record in a table. Delete statement is used to remove the unwanted rows from a table. The purpose of merge statement is you can perform within a single statement insert, update, delete operations. The merge statement is introduced in Oracle 9i version onwards. The previous versions before to the Oracle 9i, there is no merge statement. Oracle 9i onwards, the merge statement was introduced and Oracle 10G, the merge statement was improved. In Oracle 9i, the merge statement contain only insert and update statements. From Oracle 10G onwards, the merge statement contains delete operation also. By using the merge statement, you can do the addition of the record or modify the existing record or delete the unwanted records conditionally. Based on a condition, you can perform the insert, update and delete operations. Usually when you want to clone two tables, we will go for the merge statement. Let's see what is meant by DDL statements. DDL statements are used to create or modify the existing database objects. What is meant by database objects? A database object you need to consider it may be a table or a view or a sequence or a synonym or a trigger or a procedure. All things will come under database objects. Create the table or a database or a schema, we will use the command called create. Alter statement is used to, to modify the existing table. Alter statement is used to alter the existing table column options. Drop statement is used to remove the existing objects from the database. If you want to drop the table, you need to use drop table table name. If you want to drop the view, drop view, view name. If you want to drop the synonym, drop synonym, synonym name. If you want to drop the sequence, drop sequence, sequence name. So just very, very simple command in Oracle is like drop. Rename is used to rename the table name. Executing the DDL statements, you no need to perform the commit or rollback operations. But after performing the DML operations, we need to perform the commit or rollback in order to make the changes permanent or to revert the changes. What is meant by transaction control language statements? The transaction control language statements are used to manage the changes made by the DML statements. As I informed earlier, when you perform any DML statements, you need to issue either commit or rollback in order to make the changes permanently or to discard the changes which are made by the user. The purpose of this commit is to make the 
all the pending data changes permanent rollback is used to discard all pending data changes save point it will create a marker in a current transaction which divides the transaction into smaller sections based on this you can roll back roll back in a sense you can discard the pending changes till particular level or a particular point when you issue the rollback statement it will roll back all the pending data changes but you want to roll back only few changes then we will use the save point by using the save point concept we can roll back the or we can discard the pending data changes till particular point data control language statement data control language statements are used to give or remove the access rights to the user by using the grant you will provide the access rights by using the revoke you will remove the access rights for a user based on the grants you given he can able to perform creation of the database objects or modifying the database objects or renaming the database objects or inserting the data into a table or performing the select statements if you give only read only access he can't able to do the dml operations if you give both read and write options then he can do the dml operation. if you are interested to take trainings from me you can contact me through mobile 7829-666692 my whatsapp number is also the same my email id is ragavendra oracle training at gmail.com to receive the curriculum of sql PLA school text me your email id to above contact number or send a text email to the above mail id to see my students reviews refer the below link my facebook account is ragavendra oracle training at gmail.com and i am maintaining a youtube channel the channel name is oracle trainings by ragavendra rao Please subscribe to this channel to get frequent updates related to the Oracle.